Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about Blue Demon's ER80 SD2 electrode, some safety concerns, and then have a short demonstration of the product. ER80 is a very popular choice for welding low alloy steels. However, I think it's better known for welding race car chassis. Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. You can identify the type from the beginning letters. The AWS classification for this product is ER80S-D2. Some of the most popular AWS classification types begin with E for electrode, ER for electrode or rod, or R for rod. In our case, ER80 is manufactured into electrode and rod form. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. Next, we take the first two numbers, which in our case is 80. This is the minimum required tensile strength of the weld metal given in pounds per square inch, or PSI. You can take the 80 and multiply it by 1000, thus giving you 80,000 PSI of tensile strength. In the fifth position, we have an S. This letter indicates that the wire is solid. And finally, we have D2. This position would indicate the chemical composition of a solid electrode, or of the weld metal produced by a composite electrode. In our case, the D2 indicates this electrode has two alloying elements. The two elements in this filler metal are manganese and molybdenum. Since ER80 is manufactured in two forms, there are multiple welding processes that are available to us to use with this product. We can use the rod form in the GTAW process, better known as TIG welding, or we can use the electrode form in the GMAW process, also known as MIG welding. Available electrode sizes include O30, O35, O45 wire. Available rod sizes include O35, O45, 1 16th, 332nd, and 1 8th. There are a few options for shielding gas when using ER80. The shielding gas you use will depend on the process and machine settings you've selected. I would consult the Blue Demon website for assistance in making your selection. This product can also be used in all welding positions and utilizes DCEP welding current in the, for the MIG process and DCEN for the TIG process. ER80 is used in a wide array of applications. Some of the common uses are where X-ray quality welds are needed, high strength welds, steam boilers, pressure tanks, and the race industry. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using ER80 SD2. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket or long sleeve shirt, I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads.
Hey, thanks for making it this far. So here's what we've got for the demonstration. I've got my ER80 SD2, and I've also got a Chrome Molly coupon here to weld. Also, I'm just gonna pad some beads at the same amperage, even though this is thicker plate, wouldn't normally do that. Uh, this is around 65,000 wall thickness. So that's what I've got the machine set to or set for. I've got about 65 amps and that's what I'm gonna practice with on this plate. But then we'll weld this at around 65 amps. And this will take quite a bit because you weld a little bit, stop, weld a bit, stop. And so that's, what, uh, that's, that's our demonstration. So let's get to it. So here is our result. I'm real happy with this. Color looks real good. Don't, uh, I don't think we have any underfill anywhere. I know there's some shadows there, but uh, seems to look pretty good to me. Have to get in there and look. Maybe a little right there. Maybe a little bit of underfill, but uh, have to get in there and look a little bit closer. But overall, very satisfied with that. That's your Blue Demon ER80 SD2. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.